today we are talking about CO2 of seawater in agriculture. It will describe simply an overview of this topic. Of course, seawater, as we all of us know, covers 70 percent of Earth's surface, and seawater itself is a complex mixture of. Uh, relative amounts of uh, organic matter is possible. 
3. Eu vou concentrar this organic matters by taking any amount of seawater and uh, using this concentrated seawater in agriculture, we can notice the difference between with the choosing. Here we have these fruits without using seco, seco, cold for concentrated seawater of organic matter. And here by using uh, or uh, uh, without using seco in planting, you know, you notice the difference between the weight. Now, we'll talk about select lines uh, of selected plant species, which can be divided into three classes. First, soil tolerant plants, which are resistant to extreme conditions and can be used in exposed environments where soil spray is evident. Next one is moderately soil tolerant plants, always need protection from soil spray but will tolerate some inundations by storm surge. The next, the last one is slightly soil tolerant plants, always need protection from salt spray and should be protected by fences and beddings. This table shows some examples of the uh, last three classes and examples of plants that we find in case of three that southern magnolia is considered as salt torrent, moderately salt torrent, they can be uh, evident in Russian olive and poplar can be considered as slightly Salt tolerant. Thank you, Sir Grace. Actually, I need to, to discuss this point with you. We will talk about seawater for green deserts. Can we use seawater in green deserts? Deserts on Earth, in fact, cover a huge surface uh, area. But in case of work to make the desert green by seawater irrigation, we have to discuss advantage and disadvantage. Of course, we have as an advantage large amounts of seawater for irrigation, but we have this advantage of sodium, presence of sodium. Sodium would damage the clay minerals. That good desert soil would be totally uh, irreversibly spoiled. Also, it is, it is not economy to pump seawater over long distance to accumulate salt in concrete basins in inland deserts. To spoil soils in oases or lower aquifers of good river water. So I hope uh, we can overcome this disadvantage to use seawater in uh, green deserts. Next step or next point is so important to be discussed with other with each other, which uh, this step is or this point is called management of sanitary problems. We have to manage this problem. By, by, by four items, objective, proceeding, climate, and achieving. Our objective is to select controls, to maintain and accept the yield, using proceedings of leaching of crop uh, salts from roots, from root plant roots, using some requirements of the term. We have to proceed that, we determine uh, or we need some requirements of time of leaching, salinity of water, salinity of soil, and any other parameter will help in calculating salinity of both soil and water. At last, we can achieve the technique in using of seawater uh, in agriculture. Let me discuss some points of the We will discuss the relation between Soil science and water science. Soil science and water science. We have a reversible relation between them. When water science increases, of course, soil science will increase. And then, and then leaching has a factor.